because it would have meant giving Trump some credit for something that happened during his term. Jordan Peterson, have you heard of this guy? He was on Real Time. They did a whole bunch on gender. And then they got into the Middle East and they got into Trump and what's going on with the Democrats and, and a bunch more. Jordan, Jordan was just spectacular. I highly recommend you watch the, the full panel on that. It's interesting because Jordan really, uh, he makes Bill sort of better because you can see a lot of times where Bill sort of defaults back into his kind of like lefty liberal posturing and Jordan kind of pushes him to rise up a little bit more. Uh, but they got into it about Israel and what's going on and how the Democrats have gone off the deep end. And Jordan related that back to, well, maybe it has a little something to do with their unhinged hatred of Trump and the things that he actually accomplished. I think you can lay a fair bit of what happened in Israel on Biden's plate. Because I, I can explain that. I guess I should. <laughs> I mean, well, look, Bill, I know, I know that the Saudis were hot to sign the Abraham Accords two years ago. And I have a sneak, more than a sneaking suspicion that the reason they weren't pursued more assiduously because it would have meant giving Trump some credit for something that happened during his term. And I know that the Iranians are fomenting dissent in Palestine through Hamas to pressure the Jews into doing something so, you know, what would you call it, military, It'll split the Arab world. And I think you can put a fair bit at that, of that at the feet of the Democrats who didn't bring Saudi Arabia into the Abraham Accords when they could have two years ago. And I do think that's because they wouldn't give Trump any credit for what he accomplished with the Abraham Accords. And I do think that's why we're in the position we're in right now. And, you know, Biden also alienated the Saudis the first time that he went to talk to them and pushed them into the arms of China. And even despite that, the Saudis are still lurking in the background, trying to ensure that the Abraham Accords won't fold. And so that's not good. That was a big mistake. We had a chance there to make peace, and the Saudis were behind the Abraham Accords. So, I, so well, yes, please. I'm, I'm surprised to learn that Biden has started two wars in Ukraine and in Israel, because I was thinking it was Putin and Hamas. But I guess. Tell him. I'm, I'm with you. Okay, so we left that little ridiculous applause line in from that woman. She's a New York Times chick in the red, and she's just like, it doesn't matter. Like, she's just an avatar for, like, the sort of do-nothing liberal, blah, 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 blah. Jordan, say, Jordan didn't say that Biden started those wars. He said a, a certain amount of blame is to be on Biden and the Democrats. And then he laid out a rather compelling argument for that, which we all know is true. Do you remember, what was it, 10 days? It might have been eight or, or even maybe a week before uh, October 7th, before those Hamas attacks, when everyone knew, Netanyahu basically said it, we're, we've got the deal with Saudi Arabia. Like, it was going to completely change the face of the Middle East. And the Democrats and this administration, and it's Obama, it's not Biden, Biden is just a body. They do not want peace in the Middle East, right? They don't want a truly integrated Middle East, and they certainly don't want that if that means Trump is gonna get credit for it, and Trump damn well deserves credit for it. Remember when Trump moved the embassy from Tel Aviv, the, Isra the American embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to their actual capital in Jerusalem, and everyone said, all hell is gonna break loose and it's gonna be World War III, and it was nothing. And then suddenly all these peace deals got signed. Peace in the Middle East used to be something everyone was for, right? Now the woke left is for, you know, a genocide and everything else. But, okay, let's put that aside for a second. But the point is, these people have gone so woke and so caught up in this communist collectivist lunacy that they would gladly erase anything good done by the non-woke. So they would gladly shred the Abraham Accords and they will gladly let terrorists and their, own, and their sympathizers into all of our countries.